What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here. Welcome back to another news roundup. And to kick us off that recently, Monster Hero Sakurai revealed that an announcement was in the works for Smash Bros. Wii U that will show off the true potential of Smash Bros. And voila! We got a live stream this Thursday. Yes, on October 23rd at 3 p.m. Pacific Time or 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Nintendo will be holding a live stream for Smash Bros. Wii U and sharing some new details about the game. By new details, I mean 50 new things about this version of Smash Bros. It's kind of like a Smash Bros. Wii U Direct, but they're not calling it a Nintendo Direct. And as for what they'll talk about, well, they'll probably showcase the features that were leaked out in the Amazon description for Smash Bros. Wii U, which includes the stage creator, the Master Hand and Crazy Hand challenges, and the new board game mode. But beyond that, we might also hear about the supposed 8-player Smash, maybe some new online multiplayer modes, some new single-player modes, maybe the return of Target Smash, and probably some new stages. Probably. Even though Sakurai did state that the rosters for the 3DS and Wii U version would be the same, maybe he'll be a sly dog and announce a new character, but I'm not counting on it. But DLC could also be announced, but it might be a little too soon for that, for Nintendo standards at least. And finally, maybe we'll talk more about the cross-compatibility features of the 3DS and Wii U version of Smash Bros, but that really isn't 50 things, so go ahead and sound off in the comments below and tell me what you think will be included as one of the 50 new things in Smash Bros Wii U. In other Wii U news is that we've known for some time that Hyrule Warriors would support a Amiibos in some fashion in 2015, which I forgot about to be honest. But now Nintendo has revealed that the Link Amiibo will be compatible with Hyrule Warriors. Surprise, surprise. Link is the only Amiibo that's been confirmed for the game so far, but maybe the Zelda one will work as well? I don't know, it kind of makes sense. But beyond the announcement for Link, Nintendo's leaving us in the dark as to what the Amiibo actually do. But hopefully the Amiibo won't be used just to store character data so you can bring it over to a friend's house because that would be kind of disappointing. But I was thinking whenever they release a Toon Link Amiibo, maybe it will work with Hyrule Warriors, he can play as Toon Link. It's just an idea. And in some 3DS news is that Shelly Pierce, the marketing boss for Nintendo UK, revealed that the pre-orders for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are exceeding the pre-orders for X and Y. I'm not exactly sure if that's just for Europe or actually worldwide. It's just kind of interesting that the pre-orders for a Pokemon remake are doing better than the pre-orders for a brand new Pokemon game. I guess nostalgia is running high, but also the install base for the 3DS is bigger now, so that could have a factor too. And speaking of Pokemon, it's that North America is going to be getting a couple Game Boy Color Pokemon games on the 3DS Virtual Console quite soon. First, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge will release on November 6th, while the Pokemon Trading Card game will come out on November 13th. I think I still own both of these games, and they're actually quite good, even though I seriously stunk at the Pokemon Trading Card game. I think I only beat like one gym leader, if that. And finally, it's been confirmed that Tetrabot & Co. will be releasing on the Wii U eShop in North America and Europe on October 30th. This is a pure puzzle game where you got a microscopic robot and swallow blocks matter and spit them out and solve various enigmas. So if you're a lover of puzzles, maybe you'll want to check it out. But that will bring us to the end of the news roundup. Like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and add your favorites and all that good stuff, and you can stay tuned for more videos in the future. My Shantae and the Pirate's Curse video review will be going up very soon, and also the 40th episode of That's on Meverse will be going up this Saturday. But I will talk to you in the next video, guys. Bye!